he hit his first eight shots from the field, yes. <laughs> Jordan backing the Bradford Smith. Michael takes it on the turnaround. Oh! -ho! I'll tell you, that was a one-on-one -on -one move where he could Three-second call on a play like that. Michael hits him on the body, and he nails it. And again, Smith, seven for both. Uh, Bradford Smith taking that long, high jumper. Imagine a regular season game Michael Jordan was a part of and everyone found himself in the strange situation of talking about a guy named LeBradford Smith. On one of those cold March evenings in the Windy City, a young guy named LeBradford Smith decided to test Michael Jordan. It was a weekend series, Friday, Saturday, that began in Chicago and finished in Washington, featured Jordan and the Bradford Smith. And the Bullets guard had his career night in Chicago. Posted up against Smith. Michael starts to back in. Spins in the lane. Couldn't get it. Now two of six from the field. The Bradford Smith left wing drains it. Inside Jordan. Makes the move on the baseline with the left hand. And a block away. Smith just won a hit from there a second ago. 15 of 20 shooting, 7 for 7 free throw shooting. It was like Michael Jordan in him. Jordan, nice pass from Rodney. Michael on the baseline, tries to make something happen. Somebody dip and goes down. The Bradford Smith, a little room now. Shot clock at 10 and Jordan left. Runs right down, baseline. Smith has hit everything else from there. Why another one, huh? Even superstars never had such a night like this against the Bulls defense and, of course, Michael Jordan. Second call on a play like that. Michael hits him on the body and he nails it. And again, Smith, seven for four, nine, seven for nine from the field. One away from that career high, LaPresta Smith. Michael was roaming a lot, trying to help out inside, and the Bullets were rotating the ball back, and Smith's jumper was on. Jordan left the stadium embarrassed. He hit just four of his first 21 shots before scoring 11 straight fourth quarter points. In the field, Michael on the baseline, makes the fake, got him in the air, puts the yeah. basket, to the right side. And Michael's getting the, uh, he's getting Jordan makes the fake, makes the move, oh, and that's the third. And four, there's the shot clock, he's got a fire, yes! Shot clock at six, Michael Long, two, and he drains it. Makes the move on Smith, to it The Bulls won the game but struggled mightily because Smith busted them in a career high 37 against Jordan. Who's LeBradford Smith? The Bullets' number one draft choice and 19th player taken overall in 1991. His rookie year was marred by injuries and played only 48 games. He was the former University of Louisville star and he was ready to face Jordan and the Bulls. Michael went off the floor feeling like he let the young man upstage him. Jordan didn't say much to the media after the game, mostly congratulating Smith and admitting he underestimated the youngster. LeBradford Smith came in and I totally didn't respect him and he tattooed me for 37. But Jordan talked to his teammates. MJ promised that things would change in the second half of a back-to-back -back series. It just so happened in a quirk of the NBA schedule, the Bulls were playing the Bullets again the next night. LeBradford Smith was just about unstoppable. As Michael Jordan got on the bus last night to come over here, he'll go to the airport, come over here. Johnny Red Kerr, of course, said, Michael, it's 22, locate 22 <laughs> tomorrow night, and as I'm sure he will. Jordan told his teammates, especially Scottie Pippen, on the bus ride to the Capitol Center, he would match Smith's 37, but by halftime. Fly. Jordan down low. Jordan. 
now 16-21 of the two-game series. Jordan oh, oh, ducked oh, underneath oh, them. Jordan picked up by Jones. Oh, MJ. His first eight shots were jumpers, perhaps just to let Smith know that it would only get harder as the night wore on. Uh-oh, the back door yeah. to Michael from Scotty Pippen. $25 from McDonald to Charitable. Shown right through, and it reflected when he would shoot free throws. Tough shot from Michael over Chapman. Not good rebounders. You got a 35-year-older Charles Smith. Stacy King right back to MJ. Oh, they're slipping away. <laughs> Michael score. Nice drop back pass by King. He fed King, and they turned to look down the lane. This is what happens when you double. It's hard to double on Michael. Back to MJ. Michael for three. Oh, man, a shot. <laughs> he hit his first eight shots in the field, yes. <laughs> Jordan backing LeBradford Smith. Michael takes it on the turnaround. Oh, I'll tell you, that was a one-on-one -on -one move where he couldn't get it to another teammate, and LeBradford Smith played as good as you can play on a guy, and Michael has his average. Jordan pointed to his teammates, winked at the courtside media, looked stonily at LeBradford Smith, and went on the public address system to announce he would now take Smith apart. <laughs> he made the shot, but it won't count. Bradford Smith on the foul. By halftime, Jordan had 36, and you had long since stopped feeling sorry for the kid. A missed free throw just before halftime kept Jordan from his goal. When I missed that free throw, I was mad. 36 for Jordan, one out of two at the line. What? Pippen told MJ to go for 60, and the Bulls would ride him like a mule. Jordan on the fade over Jackson. Uh, Michael with 47. It was not a case of anger and hatred, but simply a matter of pride that drove him. MJ was always in search of the next challenge. The Washington Bullets guard who scored 37 points on Michael Jordan humiliated him, so MJ paid him back with 36 by halftime the very next night. Jordan ended up sitting out the fourth quarter, leaving the game with 47, and holding Smith 5 for 12 for 15 points. LeBradford Smith. And he starts out like he did last night. Smith, meanwhile, after hitting his first field goal attempt, missed the next seven in the quarter and ended up just two of eight and a half. I wasn't mad. I just wanted to concentrate. I took it personal. I wanted to redeem myself. I knew what I wanted to do, and it was just a matter of coming out and doing it. Off the screen by Purdue. Michael. Oh, 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 oh. The Bullets tried five different defenders against Jordan, but no one could stop him. His teammates certainly saw it coming. MJ said, help me in whatever way possible. If I'm hot, just get me the ball and get out of the way. Jordan even told BJ Armstrong it's going to be a personal game. They would stand around and watch. The next night was a different story. Whenever someone's got the best of me, I'm not afraid to admit that. But I try to not let that happen again, or I try to turn the tables if I can. Jordan probably forgot that back-to-back -back March 9th. It was just another day at his office. But LeBradford Smith will remember forever. And no doubt his grandkids will ask if he ever played against the GOAT. And he will find a way to brag about it.